Hey guys, how are you? Another lesson here, cave art. This is the second one of the aurochs. Okay, it's from, again, Lascaux Cave in France, about 17,000 to 15,000 years old. The aurochs is an extinct giant ox. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to draw that. If you can, something special for this one. See if you get a brown paper bag. That way we can use a white crayon. It's a little bit more fun, all right? so. If you can't, of course, use whatever paper you can find, but I think it'll be a little more fun for you on a paper bag. Shape I see in here. I'm gonna start with a rectangle in here. It's the bull's chest, charging chest, all right? So I'm gonna draw this. And it's tilted, it makes him look like he's running forward. His back leg, it's a little hard to see, but I think it's pretty much, your best shape for that is like a big diamond here, okay? So you, you got a rectangle and diamond, that's your basic shape. That's pretty much what we need to move forward here. So let's finish the back leg. We're gonna come back like this, almost like that ice cream cone again. I like to put a, a knee here and then it comes down to the hoof. Then you have the second leg there, okay? We're gonna kind of copy our line. And that's the hoof, okay? Now up here, the first leg kind of comes almost straight down. Here's a knee and the hoof. The second leg goes up and down. So I'm gonna go out and down. All right, now the head I've looked a lot. I see like a triangle in there. And then we just have to add a curve for the neck. So it's like a triangle like this, like a piece of pizza, okay? And then you just connect it to the body, okay? So now we're done with a lot of the hard parts, okay? We're just gonna kinda connect all this like this. See what I did here with a nice dark line? I'm gonna come around here. There's a tail. And now my favorite part is the horns. I love drawing these horns. If you look, the first horn is just a simple curve coming out because it's behind the head. It's on the other side of his head. That's easy. This horn is complex because it goes this way and changes direction. It's a, what you would call a compound curve. So watch this. I'm gonna go down and then up. And most kids make the horn fat at the end. It looks like a rabbit or a donkey if you do that. Watch, start wide, but make sure that you end in a point. You have to come to a point in the end of it or it's not gonna look funny. Okay, a lot of my students do this. They get a good first line and then when they go to finish it, they end up with that. And it looks like a sock or something, so don't do that, okay? Your eyeball, I've noticed over the years from looking, is like a peanut shape. And then you put your little eye in there. There's actually a bit of a lip that hangs down here, so watch this. I got the nostril, a little bit of a lip, it's even got like a chunk of fat that hangs forward here. And he's really black up front, all right? Really darkly colored. And I'm gonna round him out a little underneath for his chest, giant chest, because he's furious. He's trying to run somebody over. Okay, his face is pretty much all black. I'm gonna start coloring now, okay? Pretty much done with the drawing. I'm adding color. Okay, I'm gonna hold my crayon sideways, kind of put some black in here, okay? And now comes the fun part. Watch what I'm gonna do with some of this white. I know the horns aren't white here, but I still think it looks cool. You could make them white. So you get to use white on a paper bag, which you can't really use on regular. The nose is kind of white. You can go around the eyeball with the white. And the bull is kind of like red. If you look, he's red-brown, like a red-brown. So let me get a couple of colors here. I got a brown and a red. I like to lay in the brighter color first with crayons to make sure that there's room in the paper. If you fill up all the holes in the paper, you'll run out of room to add more color. I'm gonna get some of the dark brown in there now. 
kind of cool. You can see the pattern of the bag. That's not too bad. Now really, I don't want to bore you to death. I would color that in a lot more for about another 10 minutes, making the colors darker and richer and darker and richer. But like I said in the other video, the background is just as important as the front. So I'm gonna see what works on this paper bag. This is that yellow ochre from the horse. And that's not bad. It's a little hard to see. So let me see if I can find something a little brighter maybe. That's not too bad. It's a good place to start, I think. Let me try some of this. A little orange, okay? And that's okay, it's a little dark. So what I'm gonna do to crush it, kill it, is I'm gonna get that white out again. And I'm gonna really give it a nice outline. Where is my white? It's in my hand. So if you go around, oh, that looks cool. Makes it look like it's alive, right? Like it's moving. So as you can see, I was kind of tricking you. I've done this a lot. I went from white to like yellow to orange. So I went from brightest to darker, okay? And that's a good way to work to catch somebody. So I see I'm putting the light right next to the dark. And that gives you a good drawing. If I get something like that, what I like to do at the end is just kind of frame it a little bit with something dark. All right, so it looks like a real piece of art. Try to put yours, don't do it right, more in the center. I wish mine was a little more in the center. Oh well. But there you have it. I'm gonna write it up here, the Orox. Okay, and it's from, I'm gonna use a Sharpie so I can fit it in there. You should Google these two words. There's some great videos on YouTube. Lasco Cave, France is the country. Okay, see you in class, enjoy.